Hello, when you see us dressed like this, me in white and my, and my colleague dressed like this, just know that it's, it's yet another episode of Cook with Yan, a show that brings you different kinds of people showing us what they can cook them. And then today too, we have this gentleman here. What are you going to prepare for us? Today I am here to prepare chapats. Chapats. Yes, Akram is saying that he's going to prepare for us chapats. Remember, chapats, these are simple snacks that are eaten by everyone and they are enjoyed by everyone. We are going to see how he does it. Yes, let's go right and begin. Akram, yes. are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Yes, I'm seeing you dressed up, everything you said. So let's yeah. go and begin and show us what you have, what the skills you have in making chapats. Okay. Now here on our table, yes. we have first of all the onion. Mm -hmm. This is the first spice we are going to use. Then we have what we call the green pepper. Yes. Yeah. And then we have the carrot. Okay. Yeah. Now here. Then uh -huh. what else do you have? When making our chapats, we are going to use our fortune butto mm -hmm. to make our chapats. Yes. Now, after using it, then we have our azam azam baking flour okay then we have salt here yes. and our hot water which is going to be used in making our chapats hot water helps us in making our chapats soft okay From viewers would like to know why are you adding in the cooking oil at that stage? The cooking oil helps in removing all of this which is on the saucepan and it helps mm. in making it more soft. Okay. We can use even the blue band because the blue band even can make it more soft in the way you want then we use our spoon then when piecing our flour we use a knife to cut it off
I'm told that, that it takes 45 seconds for the chapatis to get red when you're having a good or enough heat. Yes, the only process that takes long is the making of the dough. But when you're done with the making the dough, other steps are easy and simple. Do you enjoy chapatis? Do you like chapatis? I myself I also like chapatis. But there are different ways how you can enjoy and eat chapatis. They can be eaten as plain like this. Some of them can be eaten as chikomando in, in Uganda. That is a mixture of chapatis and beans. Others can be eaten as Rolex. Rolex you roll, you roll an egg within the chapati. We promise to bring you other people to show us how to make a Rolex. Chapati is a simple snack and very fast that are eaten by people who are single. The single ladies, the single men, they, de they, de they desire to eat it because it's very cheap and very fast to be eaten. In every city you come across, you find the shops that make chapati. They can also be found in supermarkets, retail shops, and even other places. In our show, we've been letting you different terms that are used in cooking. And in today's term, we have the term dulop. D-O-L-L-O-P. What does it mean? It is a small amount of food that has been shaped in a round shape. Thank you. Yes. Welcome back from the, from the other moment. Yeah. Yes, how was it? It was so cool. It was so cool. Okay. Thank you very much. And continue to do such kind of things. Yes, we are right here with our chapatis. They are ready done by Akram. Even when the, the things have not gone right, Akram can make a small business and make some chapatis and get some little money out of it. We encourage you to continue with your studies. Not just because you know how to make chapatis, you, you, you not go to school. You have to go to school, learn, this will be a surplus in your life and in your future. Okay, yes, there is a thing in Uganda that Kampase Koye Okuya Echikomando. Some people take Chikomando, it is made out of these chapatis, it is a mixture of chapatis and beans. So they decide to get married because they are tired of eating it. So they get their partner to prepare for them different, different and delicious meals. Thank you for watching, thank you for liking, thank you for commenting and thank you for subscribing on our YouTube channel Cooking Techniques Uganda. May God bless you. See you next time.